In this video we describe our approach for isolated aortic valve repair with special focus on correction of annular dilatation using a suture annuloplasty. Intraoperative TEE in short and long axis views allows for evaluation of aortic valve morphology, aortic regurgitation and root dimensions. After cross clamping, the aorta is transected transversely 5 to 10 mm above the sinotubular junction. Subsequently, blood cardioplegia is given directly into the coronary ostia. Stay sutures are placed through the commissures and fixed to the patient's chest wall. Cusp retraction is excluded by measuring geometric height. In tricuspid aortic valve repair, a geometric height of 18 mm or more generally allows for valve repair. For later application of the suture annuloplasty, left atrial tissue is mobilized outside the non-coronary sinus and the plane is developed between pulmonary trunk and aorta. The diameter of the basal ring is determined by direct intubation with graded Hagar dilators. Cusp prolapse is defined as an effective height of less than 9 mm and it's measured using a special caliper. A tunnel is created between the left main coronary artery and aortic sinus wall. A strong expanded PTFE suture is placed through septal myocardium outside the right left commissure. Subsequently, the posterior arm of the suture is passed through the tunnel created previously underneath the left main coronary artery. The anterior arm is inserted through connective tissue outside the nadir of the right coronary sinus and finally both arms are placed through connective tissue outside the nadir of the non-coronary sinus. The annuloplasty is tied around a graded Hagar dilator according to body surface area. Once the annuloplasty is completed, correction of cusp prolapse is performed. Stay sutures are placed through the free margins of the cusps. Prolapse correction can mostly be done by plication of the central part of the cusp carrying the lowest diastolic stress. To prevent later billowing of the cusp, plication stitches in the belly of the cusp can be added. Cusp plication is pursued until an effective height of 9 to 10 mm in all cusps is ensured.
Once adequate valve configuration is confirmed by repeated effective height measurement and visual inspection, the aorta is closed, the heart is de-aired and the cross clamp removed. Valve competence is ensured by subsequent TEE.